What's up, guys? Yeah. Here with old Luke, Big Luke. We are uh, in Anchorage. It's uh, August 6th, and we are heading out west to go uh, sheep hunting. So we've got two tags. Uh, season opens on the 10th. The weather's forecast to be pretty crappy the next few days, so we're going to try to get out there and uh, yeah, see if we can find a couple rams and get lucky. So with any luck, we'll find two full curl rams and be back in a week. Let's do this. Luke and I just did a little aerial recon. There's kind of a lower ceiling right now, but uh, we found one that we think is a uh, potential shooter. Hopefully uh, we got a couple days till the season opens so we can make our way up there and get our camp set up and hopefully uh, nobody else lands up there. About halfway, uh, kind of getting our butt kicked. It's just big boulders, rocks. We're kind of right at the base of this mountain. And then it'll be another hour or two of hiking to get to uh, the seven rams that we saw that we think are, we think there's one in there that's probably a shooter, so. We're getting some fresh, clean glacier water. All right, first rams in sight. They uh, saw us cruising across the glacier and didn't want any part of it, but they're, uh, they're not legal. However, it's kind of cool just to see how they react to us. I mean, we were a pretty good distance away, probably 600 yards. And yet they still felt threatened, obviously, because we're great hunters. But uh, <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, they, they, uh, they boogied. So they're going quite quite a distance they've probably gone about i don't know a quarter mile i guess they'll just go to high country so it would have been uh it would have been a little challenging getting a getting a stock on those and then go left yeah Nice. There you can just make out those sheep. I think in the viewfinder right now, you can probably see five of them. Actually six, because they go all the way up. Yeah. So They're super spread out. We're going to keep hiking, get closer, and try to just keep our distance so we don't spook them. But just ideally, what we'd love to do is identify, you know, we're still a couple days before the season, identify, hey, is it legal or not? If it is, we're just camping out waiting for him till opening day one of those guys is the is the big one, one. we're not really sure we came. but there is one in there that is noticeably a little bit bigger than the rest we're hoping there's two legal ones in there but we can tell for sure there's one decent one you can just make out all seven of the rams we're probably i don't know a mile or a mile probably a mile and a half away right now but a pretty good vantage point. We've been hiking for basically all day long to get here. So it's kind of the moment of truth when we might be able to see if they're legal or not. All right, we think the bottom left is legal. Bottom right's, honestly, the bottom right's really close too. I didn't think the bottom, like the bottom left looks heavier, but the bottom right, when he turns, it's actually his, his antler or his horn comes way up. Alrighty, it's about 10.30. We found a sweet little patch of snow we're gonna set up our camp at. So that's just cause it's totally flat. Although, I mean, I we've been hiking pretty much all day and have not seen many places that I would wanna put a tent. So sheep are up there, all seven of them, seven rams. One's legal, one's potentially legal. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna 
camp out here basically for two days and watch them and try to come up with a game plan of how to actually make a move on them but it's it's pretty steep from the actual like river bottom up to the mountain it's like looks like a sheer cliff so we got two days to figure it out Alrighty, it's the end of uh, August 8th. We've been out, basically we did a little scouting early on this morning. Spotted uh, the seven rams again. They're kind of hanging out in the same spot. And one's definitely full curl. We don't think the other one is. So now we're just kind of trying to come up with a game plan on how to get to it. It's really steep up off the glacier and so there's kind of only one way to get up to the altitude or elevation that they're at so it'll be a little challenging but it's we kind of snuck in the tent about noon today and have been sitting here ever since because it's just been a downpour and it's supposed to basically keep raining all night tomorrow should have a little break tomorrow evening and then it's supposed to rain on Tuesday as well which is the opening day so lucky us but we're heading to sleep just finished off our one mountain house and uh, life's good all right it's the morning of the 9th we woke up about four hours ago but we've just kind of been it's been raining pretty much all morning we've been poking our head out the sheep uh when we first got up at about six they were right in that area now they work their way right to that corner so there's the seven rams and you probably notice it but it snowed last night so yeah it pretty much rained from about noon until i don't even know about 10 minutes ago and last night throughout the whole night we could hear huge slides coming down these coming down here I suppose everything as the ground got wet and softened up rocks just started sliding and just coming down like the chutes and stuff just crashing so thankfully we're in a pretty good spot here because there's kind of a little lip you can't really see it but it comes down and then it comes up right here and so that kind of protects us from any rocks coming down but yeah that would have been quite the wake-up call to get one of those to the tent Sort of have a money campsite here. We've got water, pretty good water flowing right here. You can see the ice of the glacier. And then our tent, you can see just the top of it there. Sheep are there, so. Pretty sweet little setup. Hey, you can see the snow. I think that's one. Look at him shaking out, see that? Mm -hmm. That's cool. So one, two, three, four. That could be our guy, actually. It's pretty decent. You think this guy? On the right. Just have to shoot them both, I guess. Something like that. That's so cool with the snow, isn't it? Might be him. That's him. Kind of flares yeah. out. Yeah, on the on his left. One. Our right one. That's amazing, actually, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I mean, we're a mile away. Yeah, dude, that's 11.35. They're munching. That's kind of what they do, right? Noon, yeah. about? Yeah. I think that's what we said last time, right? It was noon, yeah, yeah. yesterday. It was just noon, they came down and started snacking. That's the one we thought in the mm -hmm. middle there that we thought might be legal, but not quite. Yeah, that's him. This is the one. It's good footage. Like he literally just jumped yeah, in it. Did. Dang it, I don't really want him to go to the right though. Wow, 
Well, I guess it doesn't really matter as long as they all go one way or the other. Stretching those legs. Mm -hmm. Just like a little rocky about it. Just like. Where are you going? See that thing running in the background? Is that like a squirrel? See that? A little squirrel back there. Is that like a ground squirrel or something? Where? It's right behind him. Where'd they go? Nowhere. Oh yeah, they are all gone. That's five. All right, so the 5 p.m. on the 9th, opening day is the 10th. This is kind of where we've had our camp set up. The uh, sheep, you probably barely make them up there on that far little point. They're kind of starting to drop into a little saddle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel. It's about a mile to get to that ridge line. We're gonna try to get right at the base of it. We'll probably only be, depending on where they bed down, we might only be, 600 yards from them, but we should be totally out of their sight. I just kind of, yeah. Uh... 7 p.m. We're right up against this uh, wall, so they can't see us, but they've been just on the other side of this the past 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th, all four days. And then uh, this afternoon, they kind of went around the corner. Let's do it. 5 a.m. We're heading up. We're gonna go right up there and get to that lip, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see the rams within about the 350 yards. And then we're gonna wait till they get to uh, inside of 300. Let them buck. I got him. I got him. I got him. Yeah. Got him, dude. I can see the blood pouring out. Oh, yeah. Dude, he might tumble a ways. Let's yeah, watch. Let's, let's just go see back him. here. So you can kind of see him. I'll zoom in just a tad. I got him. Oh, yeah. 
Yes. I'm just gonna stay on him in case he okay. makes a break for it, but I think he's gonna go down right there. I mean, I could see the blood pouring down his right leg. But we'll watch and see. Oh yeah, he's... But he's like leaning up against the rocks there. I think you're fine. I was like, yeah, I can't this. It's an okay rest. I think I might have to shoot him again. No. Oh, there he's starting to cough it up. See it? Yeah. Oh, man. It looks like a perfect hit to me. I mean, the blood that spots like right yeah. behind his front shoulder. Yeah. You're good. Dude, he's a champion. I'm kind of hoping he stays in the green right there. Stop. No. No. Oh, he did stop. Oh, thank God. Luke. Yeah. I, can't I can't believe it. Honestly, <laughs> dude, I'm so excited right now. Let's stink in I can't believe that. Like, we crested this. They're... I ran for the first time, 187. I was like, holy crap. They're just feeding. No idea we're here. Bye bye, black sheep. Yeah. Luke, <laughs> let's do this. Oh man, I can't believe it. The hike was totally brutal. <laughs> and I was, I don't know why, I was at like, t I, honestly, I was probably at like, 10% optimism we'd get a shot at it but then as soon as we crested this I saw just three of them feeding and I could tell that one's got the horns that flare out he had heavy heavy mass so I think we're in the money he even he only rolled about 10 feet yeah. I think it could be a little dicey trying to trying to grab him trying to at least get him to a place where maybe we can clean him but maybe we can hoist him up onto that little I'd like to just pull him this way towards the grass. Yeah. But it's one of those things, if he goes down, I mean, you can see he's going down 300 feet. Quite so. a ways. Unreal. Unreal, dude. I can't believe it. It's great. Ram town. <laughs> All right, he's definitely wedged himself in a crack here. So it's uh, fairly steep going down. So we're kind of trying to figure out what exactly we want to do. We're gonna try to get him to right here, but it's a little bit of a failure. We flipped him, and as soon as he flipped, he was just like he off gone. to the races. He gone. So you can see his blood trail. We don't actually know where he ended up, but somewhere way down there. <laughs> so down we go, and we'll clean him, clean him down there. The Turns out it's missing a horn. So we hike back up. See the uh, the whole horn came off. It's pretty violent on the way down. What a beaut! Nice save. <laughs> Alright, he's broomed, broomed ram. That's what they look like when their horn pops off. His hide was perfectly white, and now he's just a bloody mess, but there he is. Yeah, very awesome. And, you know, the little fun fact for you, Luke found a hidden gem up there. Just, uh... Yeah, just a little horn that happened to pop off when it was tumbling down the mountain, so we were, uh, Pretty, pretty happy to find that. <laughs> uh, needless to say, I was a little surprised when I got down. I couldn't believe that it was missing a horn. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. But Luke, uh, yeah, Luke spotted it up in the gnarly terrain. We were probably more worried about just getting through the terrain ourselves and just didn't notice it and went by it. But yeah, full curl ram, opening day. So definitely a success. Now we just gotta get him clean and we've got a fairly decent pack out, but we've got a lot of time to do it. So. Sheep hunters loaded up. We've got the single horn. Luke's also got a horn. 
and uh, yeah, we're gonna start hiking. That rock's kind of loose, so just be careful. All right, up we go. Dealing with this glacier is kind of a pain in the butt. I feel like we're starting to have to zigzag. And that's probably a 40 foot wall of ice right there. The packs are not getting lighter. And it's not looking good for the home team. So that's a couple hundred feet down. That water's ice cold and it's just a wall on the other side. There's no way to get up the other side. So, all right, we think we found our crossing. Right there. Luke's just gonna try to slide down and then hop across at the end. We think that might work. Just kidding, actually we're thinking right down there might be the ticket. There's a little bit of a ledge, but we're hoping it might might work. We'll see. All right, we backtracked about half a mile, but this is the spot we found that we can get down and then we're gonna try to cross right there. Mount Marathon type hill up the shale doing it with a 90 pound pack maybe 100 maybe 80 we'll see at the end but uh, he's uh he's champ crushing me up and up there bud uh, yeah, we're just trying to grind it out. We uh, we had goals to get try to get back to the plane, but nobody really knows if that's gonna happen at this point. It took us a little longer to get off the glacier than we expected by oh about an hour and about 300 foot vertical climb. So, but we're making it. going real well half mile half mile to go <laughs> we made it back to the plane ram down oh yeah looking real good what do you think about that hike out pretty easy or you do it tomorrow yeah we'll do it again yeah we'll do it again sometime maybe yeah, in the good, uh... maybe in the afterlife Almost went to the afterlife today. <laughs> All right, we are going to hit the hay. It is dark. We've been hiking our little tushies off, so gotta get some rest. <laughs> 